intermediate algebra for statistics function problems. Let's injective. Find the domain, range, minimum, maximum, intercepts, intervals where increasing and decreasing, intervals where positive and negative, and rates of change of a function. Less injective. Is this relation a function? Yes, it passes the vertical line test, which means for every x there is one and only one y. Question number one, what is f of negative three? So what is f of negative three means when x equals a negative three? What is the y value or what is f of x? So when x is negative three, here's negative one, negative two, negative three, our y value is one. So we say f of negative three equals one. What is f of one? When x is one, y is zero. So we say f of one equals zero. What is f of two? When x is two, one, two, we have the y value equal to a negative two. What is the value of x when f of x equals one? So for this problem, we know that f of x is equal to one. So this is saying the y value is one, and we wanna know what is the order pair or pairs where y is 1. We need to find those x's. We go to the y-axis and we look for 1. So we see there's 1, 2 x's. This x and this x. So this will be x equals negative 3 and x equals looks like a positive one-half. What is the domain? So this one we have an ending point here. So the domain is going to start at negative three. Since this is a solid dot it can equal so x can equal this number and all these x values have a spot on this graph till we get to x equals 2. This is a solid dot so it can equal 2 also. So it's all numbers in between negative 3 to 2. So all these x values from negative 3 to 2. Now we can also use set notation and we could write this as bracket negative 3 to a positive 2 bracket. What is the range? And the range are the possible y values so we see that this is the smallest y. The largest y is here so all these y values have a spot on this graph. So we start with the smallest, negative 2. It's a solid circle, so y can equal negative 2. And the maximum is positive 2. The range is from a negative 2 to a positive 2. Now we could also write f of x as opposed to saying y. And we can also do set notation bracket negative 2 comma to a positive 2 bracket. What is the maximum? So this question is saying what is the maximum y value for this function? And we see it's here. So the maximum value f of x equals 
2. What is the minimum? The smallest value for the y, we see that f of x equals negative 2. Where is f of x increasing? So if we start with our endpoint, negative 3, from negative 3 all the way to this point, this has a positive slope. So when you have a positive slope, you are increasing. Now this is decreasing, so to answer this question, all values from a negative 3 to when x is 0. So we say negative 3 to 0, all x values will give us an increasing function. Now why am I not using equal signs here is because at one point, say negative 3, we don't know if this graph is increasing, decreasing, because it's only one point. So we never include equal to signs here when we're talking about increasing and decreasing. Whereas f of x decreasing, so it was increasing here, but then at this point, all the way down to this point this is a negative slope and this is decreasing so we say from 0 to 2 now if we were to write this in set notation this would be parentheses 0 comma 2 parentheses because these are not equal to where is f of x positive? So f of x is positive and this quadrant, this quadrant, so all these y values in quadrant 1 and 2 are positive. So from here to here, all these are positive y values. We would say from negative 3 up to this x, which is 1, now we can say x can equal negative 3 because that's going to be a positive number, it's 1. But when we get here, this is 0, and 0 is neither positive nor negative. So this is just a not equal to sign. In set notation, we would write it bracket negative 3, comma, 1 open parenthesis. Where is f of x negative? That's in quadrant 3 and 4. Anything below the x-axis will be negative. So that's from here to here. So we say from 1 to a positive 2. In this case we know this is a negative 2 so when x is a positive 2, y is a negative 2, negative 2 is negative, so it equals. But when x is 1, y was 0, so this is not an equal 2. So we're saying f of x is negative, anything more than positive 1 all the way up to a positive 2. And set notation we would say parentheses a 1 comma two and then a bracket. What are the x-intercepts where there's just one? That's where it's crossing the x-axis and that happens at x equals one. So we could write it this way or we could say one comma zero. The last one, what is the y-intercept? there's always going to be just one y-intercept if it's a function because for every x there's one and only one y so we can't have multiple y-intercepts so where's it crossing the y-axis? it's here so the y-intercept is at 2 so we can say y equals 2 or f of x equals 2 or we can write the order pair which is 
x is 0 and y is 2. Thanks for watching.